In this video, I will cover the installation of a two-switch Brilliant Control that will replace the configuration of both single and multi-way light switches. This video serves as a good reference for any multi-switch Brilliant Control and the instructions can be applied to any combination of single pole and multi-way switches. For the switch you are replacing, check to see if your lights are controlled by one light switch or multiple light switches from different locations. If they are controlled by multiple, this is called a multi-way switch. If you do have a multi-way switch, there are a few wiring scenarios in which Brilliant will not work. Case number one is if any other switches on the same circuit is a dimmer. Case number two is if you are trying to replace your four-way switch in the middle of a circuit with a Brilliant control. A good way to tell if a switch is a four-way is if in addition to the ground, there are four line and load terminals on the switch. If you face these scenarios, you can refer to the diagrams found in your installation guide for further assistance. First, find your circuit breaker and make sure to identify the switch for the place that your light is located in and turn this off. Do not attempt to install your Brilliant if the circuit breaker has not been turned off. Before proceeding with removing your light switch and installing Brilliant, check that your light switch has no active power before proceeding with removing your switch. Now I'll use the flathead screwdriver to remove the old switch cover. With the faceplate removed, I will now use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws and pull out the switches from the game box. Now is a good time to take a few photos of your wiring to help you remember which wires go where. Be sure to grab a couple different angles for good measure. Not all game boxes are the same, but a good way to identify your multi-way switch is by seeing a black screw, like we see here, on the bottom of your old switch. This black wire connected to your black screw is your common wire, and the red wire on top is your traveler wire. I'm going to unscrew the wires. With the switches free of wires, I can now set the old switches aside. Straighten the wire ends with your needle nose pliers. Now I have all the wires and can identify which wires are which. This is ground. It's typically green or copper colored. On the left, I can see the wiring for my single pole outdoor porch light. The two black wires are the line and load. On the right, this is the multi-way light switch that controls the hallway light in the entryway. Here, I can see the black common wire is connected to a bundle coming out of the same Romex or sheath. I have two traveler wires for the multi-way switch on the right that are coming out of the same Romex or sheath. Last is your white neutral wire cluster in the back that is connected to a white wire extension with a red wire nut. You'll connect this cluster to the Brilliant. Next, I'll start wiring Brilliant. In this configuration for my switch, I have a single pole switch on the left and a multi-way configuration on the right. So I'll be removing the three-way circuit sticker on the right for the multi-way wiring. We'll begin with the ground terminal, the green terminal with the green screw. Find your ground wire. This is usually green or copper colored. Make sure to insert the wire and screw it in until it's tight. Give it a good tug. Be sure that you install your device facing upright. A good way to tell is to see that the arrow icon is facing up. Next, I'll start with the single pole configuration on the left switch for the porch light outside. These two black wires on the left are your line and load. Order does not matter because Brilliant can automatically sense which is which. Place one wire in the terminal hole near the screw lettered C for common and the other will be placed into the terminal hole alongside the screw with L1. Make sure when placing the wire in the terminal hole, there is no exposed wire to prevent potential shorts. Be sure you screw these in tightly. Next, for the multi-way switch on the right, I'll take the common wire here and screw that in tight. I'll grab the two traveler wires. These will be going into the holes alongside the screws labeled L1 and L2. Make sure to screw them in tight and there is no exposed wire. The final step is to connect the neutral wire. Make sure these white wires remain connected. You may find that these are already connected with an extended white wire or you'll need to add a white wire extension with either an existing wire nut in your gang box or you can find one in your Brilliant packaging. 
I'll take the white extended wire here and connect it to the terminal hole near the screw with the letter N. Make sure to screw this in tight. Now I have all my wires connected. I have my single pole switch on the left and multi-way on the right with the two traveler wires connected to L1 and L2. Neutral wire is connected here, and the common wire is on the bottom. The ground wire is connected on the left side. The next step is to make sure this goes back into the gang box. Make sure there are no exposed wires coming out of the terminal holes and that your wires are screwed in nice and tight. This is very important as to prevent potential shorts and ensure everything is connected. As I press back, the wires start to curl into the gang box. Now I'm going to start using the screws to align the Brilliant Base. Next, I will go back to the circuit breaker to turn the power back on. Press the light bulb buttons to ensure your lights are fully functioning. Sure enough, they turn on. I'll press one more time to turn them back off. Now I know the base has been installed correctly. The last thing I need to do is attach the faceplate to the base in order to get my Brilliant powered on. Align the faceplate with the base so that the Brilliant logo is at the bottom and slide down to snap it into place. Ensure the frame is properly secured on all sides. Peel off the sticker, wait a few seconds, and you will see the Brilliant logo flash on the screen. This means your Brilliant is turning on for the first time. Check out support.brilliant.tech for additional videos and installation tips.